Hello, February 12th, and we're going to get into Numbers chapter 8. And uh, I've got a little bit of an allergy attack here, so bear with me. Numbers chapter 8. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, and say to him, When you arrange the lamps, the seven lamps should give light in front of the lampstand. And Aaron did so. He arranged the lamps to face toward the front of the lampstand, as the Lord commanded Moses. Now, this workmanship of the lampstand was hammered gold. From its shaft to its flowers, it was hammered work, according to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses. So he made the lampstand. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites from among the children of Israel, and cleanse them ceremonially. Thus you shall do to them to cleanse them, sprinkle water of purification on them, and let them shave all their body, and let them wash their clothes, so, and so make themselves clean. And let them take a young bull with its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil, and you shall take another young bull as a sin offering. And you shall bring the Levites before the tabernacle of meeting, and you shall gather them together, the whole congregation of the children of Israel. So you shall bring the Levites before the Lord, and the children of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites. And Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord, like a wave offering, from the children of Israel, that they may perform the work of the Lord. Then the Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the young bulls, and you shall offer, at one, offer one as a sin offering, and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to make atonement for the Levites. And you shall, sta and you shall stand the Levites before Aaron and his sons, and then offer them like a wave offering to the Lord. Thus you shall separate the Levites from among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. After that the Levites shall go into the service of the tabernacle of meeting, so you shall cleanse them and offer them like a wave offering. For they are wholly given to me from among the children of Israel. I have taken them for myself instead of all you who instead of all you who open instead of all uh, instead of all who open the womb sorry. The firstborn of all the children of Israel for all the firstborn among the children of Israel are mine, both man and beast. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctified them in my, to myself. I have taken the Levites instead of all the firstborn of the children of Israel, and I have, taken, I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the children of Israel to do the work for the children of Israel in the tabernacle of meeting and to make atonement for the children of Israel that there be no plague among the children of Israel, when the children of Israel come near the sanctuary. Thus Moses and Aaron, and all the congregation of the children of Israel, did to the Levites according to all that the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so the, so the children of Israel did to them. And the Levites purified themselves, and washed their clothes. Then Aaron presented them like a wave offering before the Lord, and Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them. After that, the Levites went in to do their work in the tabernacle of meeting before Aaron and his sons, as the Lord commanded Moses concerning the Levites, so they did to them. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This is what pertains to the Levites. From twenty-five years old and above, one may enter to perform the service and work of the tabernacle of meeting. And at the age of fifty years, they must cease performing this work and shall work no more. They may minister with their brethren in the tabernacle of meeting, to attend to needs, but they themselves shall do no work. Thus you shall do to the Levites regarding their duties. Chapter 9 Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the first month of the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Let the children of Israel keep the Passover at its appointed time. On the fourteenth day of this month at twilight shall keep it as its appointed time. According to all its rites and ceremonies, you shall keep it. So Moses told the children of Israel that they should keep the Passover. And they kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month, at twilight in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did. Now there were certain men who were defiled by human corpse, so that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came to Moses and Aaron at that day. And those men said to, said to him, We became defiled by a human corpse. Why are we kept from presenting the offering of the Lord at its appointed time among the children of Israel? 
And Moses said to them, Stand still, that I may hear what the Lord will command concerning you. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, If any one of you or your posterity is unclean because of a corpse, or is far away on a journey, he may still keep the Lord's Passover. On the fourteenth day of the second month, at twilight, they may keep it. They shall eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it until morning, nor break one of its bones. According to all the ordinances of the Passover, they shall keep it. But the man who is clean, and is not on a journey, and ceases to keep the Passover, that same person shall be cut off from among his people, because he did not bring the offering of the Lord at its appointed time. That man shall bear his sin. And if a stranger dwells among you, and would keep the Lord's Passover, he must do so according to the rite of the Passover, and according to its ceremony. You shall have one ordinance, both for the stranger and the native of the land. Now on the day that the tabernacle was raised up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, the tent of the testimony, from evening until morning. It was above the tabernacle like an appearance of fire. So it was always. The cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. Whenever the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle, after that the children of Israel would journey, and in the place where the cloud settled, there the children of Israel would pitch their tents. At the command of the Lord, the children of Israel would journey, and at the command of the Lord they would camp. As long as, they could, as, long as the cloud stayed above the tabernacle, they remained and camped. Even when the cloud continued long, many days above the tabernacle, the children of Israel kept the charge of the Lord and did not journey. So it was, when the cloud was above the tabernacle a few days, according to the command of the Lord, they would remain encamped, and according to the command of the Lord, they would journey. So it was, when the cloud remained only from evening until morning, when the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they would journey, whether day by day or by night, Whenever the cloud was taken up, they would journey. Whether it was two days, a month, or a year, that the cloud remained above the tabernacle, the children of Israel would remain encamped and not journey, but when it was taken up, they would journey. And at the command of the Lord, they remained encamped, and at the command of the Lord, they journeyed. They kept the charge of the Lord at the command of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Chapter 10. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets for yourselves. You shall make them of hammered work. You shall use them for calling the congregation and for direction, directing the movement of the camps. When, you, when they blow both of them, all the congregation shall gather before you at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. But if they blow only one, then the leaders, the heads of the division of Israel, shall gather to you. When you sound the advance, the camps that lie on the east side shall then begin their journey. When you sound the advance the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall begin their journey. They shall sound the call for them to begin their journey. And when, they, when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but not sound the advance. The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets, and these shall be to you as an ordinance forever throughout your generations. Whenever you go to war in the land against the enemy who oppresses you, then you shall sound an alarm with trumpets, and you will be remembered before the Lord your God, and you will be saved from your enemies, also in the day of your gladness, in your appointed feast, and at the beginnings of your months. You shall blow the trumpets of your burnt offerings, and offer the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be a memorial for you, for your, before your God. I am the Lord your God. Now it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month, in the second year, that the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel set out from the wilderness of Sinai on their journeys. Then the cloud was settled down in the wilderness of Paran. So they started out for the first time according to the command of the Lord by the hand of Moses. The standard of the camp of the children of Judah was set out first according to the, their armies. Over their army was Nashon, the son of Amimadab. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Issachar was Nethanel, the son of Zuar. 
over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliab, the son of Helon. Then the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set out, carrying the tabernacle, and the standard of the camp of Reuben set out according to their armies. Over their army was Eliezer, the son, sorry, Eliezer, Eliezer, the son of Shadur. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shalu, Shalumiel, the son of Jerushadai. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph, the son of Duel. Then the Kohathites set out, carrying the holy things. The tabernacle would be prepared for their arrival. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set out according to their armies. Over their army was Elishama, the son of Amihud. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedahazur. Over the tribe of the over the army of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abadan, the son of Gideonai. Then the standard of the camp of the children of Dan, the rear guard of all the camps, set out according to their armies. Over their army was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. Over the army of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pagiel, the son of Okrin. And over the army of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Anan. Thus was the order of the march of the children of Israel according to their armies when they began their journey. Now Moses said to Hobab, the son of Reel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are setting out for the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will treat you well, for the Lord has promised good things to Israel. And he said to him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land and to my own relatives. So Moses said, Please do not leave, inasmuch as you know how we are to camp in the wilderness, and you can be our eyes. And it shall be, if you go with us, indeed it shall be, that whatever good the Lord will do to us, the same we will do to you. So they departed from the mountain of the Lord on a journey of three days, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them for the three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was above them by day when they went out from the camp, and so it was, whenever the ark was set out, that Moses said, Rise, o, rise up, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. And then it rested. And when, when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the many thousands of Israel. Chapter 11 Now when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, for the Lord heard it, and his anger was aroused. So the fire of the Lord burned among them, and consumed some in the outskirt of the camp. Then the people cried out to Moses, and when Moses prayed to the Lord, the fire was quenched. So he called the name of the place Teberah, Tebera, because the fire of the Lord had burned among them. Now the mixed multitude who were among them yielded to intense craving, so the children of Israel also wept again, and said, Who will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish which we ate freely in Egypt, the cucumbers and the melons, the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our whole being is dried up. Therefore, is nothing at, there is nothing at all except this manna before our eyes. Now the manna was like coriander seed, and its color like the color of delium. The people went out and gathered it, ground it on millstones, or beat it in mortar, cooked it in pans, and made cakes of it. And its taste was like the taste of pastry prepared with oil. And when the dew fell on the camp in the night, the manna fell on it. And Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families, everyone at the door of his tent, and the anger of the Lord was greatly aroused. Moses was also displeased. So Moses said to the Lord, Why have you afflicted your servant, and why have you, I have not found favor in your sight, that I have not laid the burden of all these people on me, that you have laid the burden of all these people on me? Did I conceive all these people? Did I beget them that you should say to me, Carry them in your bosom as a guardian carries a nursing child to the land which you swore to their fathers? Where am I to get meat to give all these people? For they weep all over me, saying, Give us meat that we may eat. I am not able to bear all these people alone, because the burden is too heavy for me. If you treat me like this, please kill me here and now. If I have, fa if I have found favor in your sight... And do not let me see my wretchedness. Well, we're going to end right there. That's chapter 11, verse 15. Till tomorrow.